sweating so let's get moving <laughs> all right jared jared do you take peyton to be your lawfully wedded wife to have and to hold from this day forward for better or for worse for richer or poorer in sickness in health to love and to cherish until death do you part him he said i do <laughs> Peyton, do you take Jared to be your lawful wedded husband to have and to hold from this day forward for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and health, to love and to cherish until death do you part? Of course. And she says, of course. Hey. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a pledge to love you. As a pledge to love you. Today, today, tomorrow, tomorrow, always and forever, always and forever. I choose you, I choose you, to share in my life's journey, to share in my life's journey. I promise to not complain, I promise to not complain. <laughs> if you get another, if you get another, speeding tickets. <laughs> I promise to keep my mouth shut, I promise to keep my mouth shut. When we receive another, when we receive another Amazon package. Amazon package. <laughs> and just to be clear, <laughs> say it. Just, to, just be clear. to be clear. When I said I do, when I said I do, I was not referring, I was not referring to the dishes. To the dishes. <laughs> You got put. It'll. Peyton, place this ring on Jared's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a pledge to love. As a pledge to love. You today. To love you. Oh, to love you today. <laughs> tomorrow. Tomorrow. Always and forever. Always and forever. I choose you to share. I choose you to share. In my life's journey. In my life's journey. I swear to love and respect you. I swear to love and respect you. But not to obey you. But not to obey you. Since it would be a bit scary. Since it would be a bit scary. I promise to continue. I promise to continue. To love you. To love you. Even when you roll the side by side. Even when you roll the side by side. <laughs> One last thing. One, am I supposed to say that? Yeah. One last thing. I promise to always. I promise to always. Remind you how lucky you are to have me. Right. <laughs> remind you of how lucky you are to have me. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Thank you. Jared and Peyton. We wish you both tons of joy, love, and happiness in the future. Remember this as you head out into this world as newlyweds. Newlyweds? Newlyweds. Well, whatever it is. Show up from the three two one. Let's forward. Okay, that's it. Keep your home full of laughter, your fridge full of good food and drinks, and your hearts full of honesty and love. And if you can do this, you will have an amazing life. By the love that has brought you here today, and by the vows and the ring you have exchanged, and the presence of your loved ones, it is my delight and honor to pronounce you husband and wife. Jared, you may now kiss your bride. Family friends.
Good evening. As most of you know, I am Abby. I'm Peyton's best friend. I was also known as the bad influence friend. Although my bad influences is what got us here today. So am I really a bad influence? Peyton and I were driving around one night when we kept passing this truck that had the groom and the best man in it. So I just so happened to have Jared's Snapchat and I Snapchatted him and asked him to meet us somewhere and we drove around with him. I was then telling Peyton that she needed to get with Jared and that's how the lovebird started. Being Peyton's best friend also makes me the keeper of embarrassing secrets and stories, but that's for another day when we're all, all drunker. Over the years, we have laughed together, we have cried together, and we've had amazing memories together when I wasn't grounded. I am truly blessed to have someone like her in my life. I must admit, I was angry about you guys getting together. Peyton and I spent every minute together, and then here comes this guy wanting to share her with me. Peyton means so much to me, and I've all I've ever wanted for her was the best. We get each other in ways that no one will other, no others will understand. When I saw how happy you made her, Jared, I realized I was jealous for no reason. In you, I saw the man she wanted all of her life. I was excited at the thought of her finding her happily ever after. In a few short months, we will all get to watch you grow, the family that Peyton has always wanted. And I can't wait to watch my best friend become a mother. I owe it all to Jared as much as he's done for me over the years, so when him and Peyton got engaged, you know, all we could do is just give them the best place that they could have their wedding, because as much as time as me and Jared spent together, that's just the best thing that I could do for him. And uh, to show Peyton the, the appreciation we give to her, and, at least she's got a friend with Elizabeth now, and they can drink wine together and raise kids. Uh, but I'm sure, uh, I'm sure Peyton and Elizabeth will still drink a lot of wine while they raise the kids. But uh, I appreciate everybody making the trip here. I know everybody had to travel. That's probably me and Elizabeth to blame because we're down here and nobody else is. But I appreciate everybody coming. You know, me and Jared spend a lot of time together, but everybody here is spending their time with Jared also. So everybody here is, has spent their time with Jared, and Jared spent their time with you. So uh, I wish Jared and Peyton nothing but the best, and we're always here, and appreciate you coming to Tennessee.